Welcome to DIY Easy Crafts and BergKnifeMaking.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to make your own American flag themed knife handles or scales. Now I make a lot of patriotic themed knives um, and I can buy these uh, American flag scales from a, a few makers um, and I've always, I always kind of prefer to do that. But this is a do-it-yourself channel and I wanted to give you guys the option of making this, these type of scales yourselves. So I used um, a craft vinyl cutting machine in order to try to attempt to cut out uh, the, con the construction paper uh, that I'm going to use for this product project. And I set up the stars and the stripes and I attempted to cut them out. Uh, the vinyl cutting machine, I have a silhouette cameo, uh, it marked the lines but it didn't cut through this 80, 80 pound weight paper. And I've got red, white, and blue paper. Uh, but it did mark it, so I'm just going to use a razor knife to finish the cuts. You don't need a vinyl cutting machine to do a, a project like this. You could make all of the cuts just with a razor knife. The stars would probably be the hardest thing to do with just a razor knife, uh, but there's a really cool alternative. Uh, they make a hole punch that punches out a star shape, and you can find these on Amazon for about 10 bucks. So for this particular project, I'm going to use uh, a dark blue, a red, and a white uh, construction paper, which I got down at the local Michael's Art and Craft Supply Store. Um, I have a, a knife scale mold, which I got from Woodcraft, and I'm going to use a Total Boat Thick Set Epoxy, which is a really nice resin because it has a real long cure time. It's very thin. And this is basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to layer the paper into the mold. Um, and then I'm going to layer um, on top of the final, well, let me back up. I'm going to layer some paper in the mold uh, to give it the thickness uh, for the base. And this is going to be kind of like a micarta. Um, I'm going to layer red, white, and blue so that when, I'm, when I actually cut these into knife handles and start to shape them, you should be able to see uh, those red, white, and blue uh, stripes almost like a micarta. The only difference here is that um, I'm not coating it with fiberglass I was, as I would normally use for my carta. I'm using this uh, Total Boat Thick Set resin and I'm not pressing it. Um, usually you would press out all of the resin out of, of my carta and in this case it's really just a casting. So I'm coating each side of each sheet of paper that I've cut to fit my mold. I'm using a foam brush and I'm just painting it with that Thick Set resin and I'm alternating red, white, and blue until I fill about the bottom third of this mold. I want to leave two-thirds for clear resin on top. I'm going to add my white uh, stripes and that's all. the white is also going to be the background for the stars. Um, I didn't want, I didn't, wasn't sure how it was going to come out. I didn't know if you were going to be able to see the, the, the missing uh, red stripe or the cutout in the, in the white. So I actually used um, and filled in, which was very easy since I cut out the white on that vinyl cutting machine. Uh, I just did the same with the red and filled it in. But this is the blue and you're going to see the white stars right through the star cutouts in the blue. Now here's the trick. You don't want to fill this um, mold up with resin at this point. You want it to dry overnight so that that paper is not going to float up to the surface and separate. Then I filled it all the way up with clear uh, thick set resin. I mentioned this before that thick set really has a long cure time. I let it sit in the mold for three or four days uh, before I even attempted to take it out. And what's nice about that is it gives plenty of time for any little bubbles to reach the surface. So you don't need um, a pressure pot to work with this stuff. This is the finished product. And I was really happy with the way they came out. I think these are going to look really cool on a knife. So you've got red, white, and blue. You've got the stars and stripes. You can see that uh, all the paper is down towards the bottom third of the, of the scales. And the top is going to be your clear resin. I think in the future, if I do these again, I might just make thinner stripes. But other than that, I'm, I'm very happy with the way they came out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I would absolutely love it if you took a minute and just left a comment in the comments section. 
Um, I'd like to give you an invite to check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com uh, and also on our Facebook group, Knives and Knife Making. If you're interested in making your own knives, check out the book Introduction to Knife Making that Jason Northgard and I put out a couple years back, and you can find that on Amazon.com. Thank you very much for watching.